in science today and in psych science tests, you're looking for statistical significance. You're looking for correlations and you're doing it across various different samplings. Well, what we had found was not a correlation. This was something that happened every single time. And so therefore, it it blew our minds because it was like, wait a second, this is not just simply, oh, somebody's, like for instance, if I did body language, uh, it might be, oh, if, if someone's arms are folded, then they might be defensive. Or if this person's going back like this, they're confident. Or if you're doing politics and you're, you want to seem open, you do the, the steeple. So these are all tendencies that happen. But we didn't find something that was a tendency. We found a one-to-one -one match that happened every single time. It was just because the body keeps moving, it's constantly shifting from, from, uh, from motivation to motivation. The concept of the motivation is that you're not overstepping your bounds as far as what you're saying about that person. So for example, uh, one of the, what we call motivants is approval. So if somebody is looking down to their right and their left, it's feeling and thinking, um, their head will shift down, they're looking like this, what you know is that they're in approval. You can't say, oh, I know that they're nervous, or oh, I know that they're shy, or they're sad, or they're embarrassed. We don't know that information. That takes um, more of that interaction and trying to figure out what's going on with the person. Right. But you do know the motivation that's attached to it. Um, and that's completely different than body language, is completely different than what um, personality models in general tend to do. It's right. just making these assumptions um, that you shouldn't be making. One of the important things uh, about what you're doing is also in knowing the limit right. of what you can discover. Right. It's not so, meant to be something that gets every bit of knowledge about. You have certain limited kinds of knowledge that you, you believe you can recognize. You see this correlation, and it's just that limited knowledge, and absolutely. you don't use this as an overarching way to explain every behavior, motive, and a desire that a person has. Right. Well, and it, yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And that's one of the interesting things is that's how it has a lot in common with uh, St. Thomas Aquinas's model of the body-soul composite. We can't tell what somebody is thinking, but we can tell the way that they're thinking about it. Even body language is acceptable in the, in the court of law because if somebody gets, let's just say, a payment and you see them throw it down and do this, even though you can't judge the interior state, if you were a betting man, you'd probably say, I don't think they're too happy with it. <laughs> you see, now it could be an act, it could be a ruse, and there's therefore there's a limitation like what you're saying. But in general, what we, we can tell is not what they're thinking. We don't know what's in their head that caused them to throw that down, but we can tell the way they're thinking about it. 